okay so now let us continue our discussion of the thermodynamic properties of the superconductor and the first very important property that we saw of the superconductor is that the free energy of the superconducting state is lower than the free energy of the normal state so if you cool the sample below the superconducting transition there is a suppression of the free energy of the superconducting state or the electrons condense into a low energy state inside the system the fermions condense into a low energy state inside the system and that state has an energy which is less than the normal state free energy by this much amount bc square by 2 mu naught okay now having calculated the free energy let us calculate the entropy and the specific heat of the system now let's take the derivative of the free energy okay and we know that the difference between the normal state and the superconducting state free energy is bc square by 2 mu naught which is equivalently half mu naught hc square whether you use b or h the relationship is like this and by introducing the temperature dependence you can also write it like this so the entropy of the uh, normal state minus the entropy of the superconducting state is equal to mu naught hc minus mu naught hc dhc by dt okay so uh, let me first uh, write it more simply that uh, gn T0 minus Gs T0 uh, is equal to mu naught by 2 Hc square. So if I take the minus, uh, if I take this, if I do this, if I operate it on this, you will get entropy at T0 minus the entropy in the uh, superconducting state. The entropy of the superconducting state is minus mu naught by uh, minus mu naught of course uh, it will be just minus mu naught hc dhc by dt and we know that the critical field as a function of temperature actually decreases uh, the uh, as you increase the temperature the critical field decreases and it goes to zero at tc so dhc by dt is going to be negative this quantity is less than zero so therefore the entropy of the normal state is greater than the entropy of the superconducting state okay because this entire quantity becomes greater than zero so the entropy of the superconducting state is lower than the entropy the entropy of superconducting state is lower than that of the normal state which implies whenever the entropy reduces it looks as if the electrons are going or if the system is going into a more ordered state reduction of entropy implies a more ordered state in this context it is the electrons in the system which go into a more ordered state the electrons in the system actually fall and condense into a more ordered state so the reduction of entropy corresponds to the electron uh, the disorder of the electronic state actually reducing okay and uh, we have already seen in the interpretation of the london's equation is that uh, the conden the entry into the superconducting state actually corresponds to the entire electronic state being described by one single wave function each individual electron does not have a separate order uh, uh, a separate amplitude and a separate phase once it condenses into the superconducting state each electron has the same amplitude and the same wave uh, uh, order uh, same uh, phase and so the entire superconducting state is treated with one single order parameter and this is equivalent to get getting into an ordered state whereas above tc 
each electron is behaving separately from the other electron once you enter into the superconducting state each electron is behaving exactly like the other electron so this corresponds to entry into an ordered state uh, if i put in the um, expressions for uh, the temperature dependence okay uh, one can show that and that i leave it to you that the entropy versus temperature if this is the this is the normal state if i look at the temperature dependence of the superconductor above tc of course it follows the normal state but below tc the point at which the entropy drops this is the superconducting transition okay and we can see that the entropy of the superconducting state becomes lower than the entropy of the normal state so this is your superconducting state which has a lower entropy and that of course can be shown if you include the temperature dependence of hc if you include that as well as the normal state form of the entropy which i have already described to you earlier if you put in all of that you can show how the superconducting state entropy behaves and this is the general behavior of the superconducting state entropy it is lower than the normal state entropy now having calculated the entropy let us now calculate the specific heat the specific heat is equal to 2 tds by dt okay and now if you include all the uh, so you just have to take a derivative of this expression okay um, if you put in this okay you can put in all this values here um, and you can you can show okay that if you take if you do this okay then the entropy of the superconducting state can be written in the following form that the entropy of the superconducting state is gamma t plus a t cube this is of course the entropy of the normal uh, this is the, of course the specific heat of the normal state i have just written in this form okay plus 2 mu not b c 2 uh, uh, mu not h c 0 the whole square times t by t c square bracket twice or three thrice of three times t by tc the whole square minus 1 this is of course using the form of the hc which is hc 0 1 minus t by tc the whole square if you use this and you if you use this in this expression and ds entropy we have already calculated above if you and you take the derivative with respect to temperature and multiply it with temperature then you land up with this expression and this expression can be further simplified to finding out what is the specific heat at tc the specific heat at tc is gamma tc plus a t cube t, uh, a tc cube plus 4 mu not hc 0 square by tc this is the this is the specific heat 
ऑफ द सुपर कंडक्टर एट टी सी एट टी इक्वल टू टी सी दिस इज द स्पेसिफिक हीट ऑफ द सुपर कंडक्टर एट टी इक्वल टू टी सी नोटिस दैट दिस इज द नॉर्मल स्टेट स्पेसिफिक हीट सो द स्पेसिफिक हीट ऑफ द सुपर कंडक्टिंग स्टेट इज ग्रेटर दैन द स्पेसिफिक हीट ऑफ द नॉर्मल स्टेट एट टी सी बाय दिस मच अमाउंट सो इफ आई प्लॉट इट वॉट इट मीन्स इज द फॉलोइंग दिस इज द स्पेसिफिक हीट एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ टेम्परेचर initially it is linear and then it is of course cubic okay i am just expanding the whole diagram uh, or exaggerating more appropriately the whole diagram now at t greater than tc the specific heat of the superconductor follows that of the normal state however once you reach tc the specific heat of the superconductor is abruptly larger than the normal state above the superconducting state at t greater than tc of course you have only this term gamma tc plus at cube okay this for this term is only below just once the onset of superconductivity occurs you get a critical field and the specific heat jumps up it jumps up above the value so here at this point the value of the normal state is gamma tc plus a tc the whole cube this is this temperature is tc so at this point this is the value of the normal state specific heat this is your normal state the green represents a superconducting state and when once you reach this point the specific heat jumps up okay and above this point so at tc there is a jump in specific heat and this jump in specific heat the height of this jump is 4 mu not hc 0 square by tc this is the height of the jump and if you recall in our uh, measurements we had already seen or in measurements of aluminium if you recall back to a few lectures experimental uh, experiments on aluminium showed that at tc there is this jump in the superconducting transition and if you see this jump in the superconducting transition is proportional to this energy scale these are all zero field measurements h is equal to 0 but they are all proportional to an energy scale which is written in terms of the critical field which is the field at which your difference between the superconducting and normal state goes to zero okay it is essentially proportional to this energy scale which is expressed in terms of the critical field that's all that it means it's not that you are doing that experiment in a magnetic field okay so you are doing an experiment in zero field but you have a jump in specific heat and this jump in specific heat suggests that there is a second order phase transition into the superconducting state where entropy of the electronic state is lowered entropy of the electronic state is lowered so it's a phase transition so this corresponds to a phase transition in the electronic state of the material okay this is a very important conclusion and the transformation is via a jump in the specific heat in the next lecture we will look at what does it mean to have this jump in specific heat and we will complete the lecture by looking at the magnetic field dependence of this property